What's up, guys? Back again with a new vlog. And today, we're going to talk about Lucia. So not too long ago, I decided to cosplay Negan. It was an impulse kind of thing. It was the first cosplay that I ever actually put money into and put time and effort and, uh, you know, anything that I could think of. All my friends are cosplayers, so it just was inevitable for it to happen. Um, so my first project, and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna cosplay him, I'm gonna go all out. And I, I made my first uh, Lucille with uh, just the, the cheapest you can find on Amazon uh, foam bat that everybody used on their first go around because I mean when he came onto the scene it was like a rush of of cosplayers doing it and uh, Amazon had this like rope um, it was like a, a string fabric and it had little knots and it, it mimicked what barbed wire looked like so I figured that would work good when I got it in it looked okay but the bat was very small and it just it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I ended up uh, not liking it as much. I used nail polish for uh, for the blood. I don't know what I'm doing. I figured that would work and it looked okay, I guess, right? So yeah, and that that that's what I used for the first convention that I went to as Negan. It was a small little thing that here locally and people seemed to like it. It looked cool, but um, I'm not a big guy, I guess. It looked really small on me and I didn't like it. I also I also knew that eventually make a Negan parody, right? I mean, that's like the next step. That's what I do. So I decided to make this. This is Lucille. And she is, she's a pesky little girl. Uh, she likes to cause drama and I mean, <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, she can do whatever she wants to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, very da <laughs> this is very dangerous. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you guys kind of a good little close-up here. I'll do like a little pan shot, see if it'll zoom in. All right, so this is real deal Lucille. Oh, I just made that up. When I ordered this bat, it was plain nothing on it. Like, it was purely wood... Uh, no paint, obviously no barbed wire. Basically, I think they were like practice bats. I think they're used to practice. But uh, the barbed wire that I ordered, luckily I was able to find just a small amount because I went to Lowe's and I went to Home Depot and I couldn't find nothing because they were had the bulk amount of barbed wire. And I was like, man, well, I don't need that much. But it worked out great. I ordered uh, just a small amount and it was exactly enough that I needed for this bat. It was crazy. I initially, I don't know if you can see, like right here, I initially used, uh, you can see the little nails, I guess you, yeah, little nails. And I would, I would hammer it in and, and then to hit it on the edge so it would bend over the barbed wire. Now I'll tell you what guys, that was a pain. Like that was like super hard. And I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I, I'm not a handy guy. Um, I have a hammer, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so when I started this project, you know, see here and I, I did it again on this side and it was just very hard. Like this, this barbed wire doesn't bend like you think, like you have to really kind of force it as you go. You can't like wrap it all the way around like rope and then add, add, no, you had to do it little by little. So, uh, eventually finally I got smart, but I went through the whole thing. Like you can see all the little bends and breakage. But finally I got smart and bought the, sorry, I don't know what these are called, but uh, here's the hoop. Let me see if you can see it. The hoop uh, nails. And all you do is set it and then hit it and you probably kill your thumb every now and then. But um, then I started. Once I started putting those in, things got a lot easier and a lot sturdier and it doesn't move. Uh, but this is like the real, 100% real Lucille. Like, wood bat, aluminum or metal, whatever barbed wire is made out of. And 
it's my hands were cut to hell and back like I had bloody hands uh, it was crazy not anymore but uh, it was crazy it's really fun walking around with this bad boy in public when I'm walking to like a shoot or going when I'm shooting a parody like in an alley or something uh, I'm scared that a cop's gonna stop me I don't know if it's illegal to walk around with this I just figured sometimes it's safe to leave her at home especially when I'm gonna be around a lot of people if I do a night shoot or something like that she's good but yeah I, I'm very proud of it uh, it really honestly is the first time I put any time and effort into a cosplay so uh, this is what came out and I have some really cool ideas for Negan for a Megacon that's coming up that I uh, keeping it a secret but she's awesome I can't treat her like how I treat the other one because you know the other one I kind of like pose and do crazy stuff like this oh look at that that's gonna be the thumbnail right there if you do make a real Lucille wear gloves gloves are very important um if you can find a thinner barbed wire than that I suggest it because it it uh, make a life a lot easier but you know it you would have to roll roll it a lot more times I think it's still lacking a little bit of real barbed wire. Like there's some spots like right here that I think could still do better. Uh, but I, I think it looks good. So, you know, tell me, tell me what you guys think. My Lucille. Oh, let me show it one more time. Beautiful. All right, guys. See you in the next one.